Today I'm back doing another video, and today this video is going to be about the Halo 1 Joyride Master Chief. Um, this guy is like was made in 2001, and he is very old and very well articulated, and looks exactly like the Halo 1 Master Chief from Combat Evolved. Halo Combat Evolved or Halo 1, whatever you want to say, it really doesn't matter. Um, and as you can see, he looks completely game accurate to Halo 1. Um, I just, like, compared to the Mark V that we're used to now, it doesn't really look like this, but bearing in mind, this was a long time ago, and they tried to replicate the old graphics, and I love the job that they've done with it. Uh, Joyride, in my opinion, were the best figure company, and as you can see, he's roughly the size of my hand, like up to my middle finger. Uh, I called it middle finger because everybody does this to each other. Um, <laughs> it's about the size of my hand, which is about 8 inches, really. Uh, it's pretty big, 7 to 8 inches tall. Um, I do have a second one of these, as you can see by my unboxing video I did. And this is a Halo 2 carbine. Uh, it has a little bit of white tack on the side because I used to stick it on his back. Or I tried to stick it on his back, but then I thought bit silly and also this is not meant for his hand so it's really hard for him to hold um, I mean I don't know why I took it out of his hand because it's going to take a while for it to go back in now to actually get this to stay in his hand probably is really annoying but you get the gist and also you can actually get him to go on his knee as if like he's going to get married or he's about to shoot someone from here and as you can see this guy uses vacuum chrome um, Anthony Customs, I mean, as, as experted as he is with his figures, never explains what the fuck a vacuum chrome is. Now, vacuum chrome, this stuff on his visor, is, in, is incredible, and I think McFarlane should follow after what Joyride did. Um, vacuum chrome is a type of vinyl plastic, which is just chrome gold, and they stick it over the top. It's basically a sticker, pretty much. It's basically vinyl, um, and if you don't know what vinyl is, then vinyl is just pretty much plastic uh, with um, either chrome on it or whatever, and it's pretty much just that. That's pretty much all vacuum chrome is, and it's vacuum chrome, so it's pretty cool. Um, the paint job on this thing is incredible for a 2001 Series 1 Master Chief figure. Um, as I said, I got two of these, but one of them is a bit shit because obviously uh, the visor has been painted for some unknown reason. But as you can see, uh, he's got a joint here, a little twist on his thigh, same goes here, and his knee joint. Uh, a little bit squeaky, cause it, is, um, it is a little bit shitty uh, joint-wise because it was made in 2001. And 2001, I know that doesn't sound like a very long time ago to most people that have been living like 60 million years. Um, obviously I know this, but to me 2001 was quite a long time ago since I was only one years old. I'm now 15 uh, this year. Well, I became 15 in 2015 in November, um, November 13th, which was really cool. And as you can see, the detail is pretty outstanding for a figure of that time. Uh, figures used to be pretty, pretty shitty really. Um, they didn't really have amazing joints, they always got loose and they're a bit brokenish. Um, now obviously I've got two more reviews to shoot for you guys, so I'm going to try and make this one as quick as possible. But um, yeah, also it has a little bit of a fine movement here, not very much, but it's enough to, I guess, sort of pose him a little bit. So he's got some sort of poseability. He doesn't move all the way back, which is annoying, but most of the other figures did uh, around about that time. You know, you can get him to sit down, I guess, if you really wanted to make a Halo 1 RB in the Chief, I guess you'd get him to play the Xbox, I mean, why not? Um, ow! I might do a RB and the Chief series of my own. If you guys haven't seen my episode 1 version of it, I did actually do a test. So it's got um, arm movement around the shoulderish, um, well, bicep swivel, both sides, obviously. It's got a joint elbow movement here, which doesn't sound very nice when it moves. It sounds like it's about to snap. I wouldn't be surprised if it did. It's a bit. Um, it's got this swivels too, which is quite cool. Um, his head moves. It looks like it could move up and down, but really it's just attached to one ball joint. 
and overall it's a pretty nice figure um, it really is it's been the paint is awesome it's a nice metallic looking color and I think that uh, McFarlane should definitely take in what Joyride did and I don't know why uh, Mc, uh, Bungie decided to get rid of um, Joyride to get a McFarlane figure it just makes no sense to me at all um, so this is just a quick little close up of him in all of his glory So yeah, I mean, it's pretty incredible, uh, for, as I said, for whatever, how old he is now. Just about fits in his hand, as I said, it's not really made for him, it's made for the Halo 2 series, but, you know, it's copable with, I guess. So yeah, that is my review for the Halo 1 Master Chief. Please check my channel for I'll Be In The Chief Season 1, Episode 1 teaser slash test thing it was made a long time ago so check through my channel i also have a halo 2 master chief joyride figure review but my voice was a little bit i'd probably say a little bit squeakier than it is now so if you guys don't really like listening to squeaky fucks then obviously you don't watch that video uh it's entirely up to you so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys soon and peace